another video. Alright, so today is episode four of What's the Tea at Southern University. Um, we only have four more episodes left. I am going to go back and read a couple of comments um, on some more topics. But, of course, um, like I said, ignore all of this. Y'all probably like, okay, Ken, we can see you in the same style for like the past three videos. But look, baby, I'm trying to record as many videos today as I possibly can while I have a good recording day in my room. Because um, my mom works in my room, so I don't really have my room until the weekend. So, bear with me. So, today I'm going to be doing some pros and cons on attending Southern University. I have listed here six pros and six cons to talk to you guys about. Once again, do not, do not, do not come at me for my tongue being orange. I am very much aware. Um, I was drinking an orange Powerade, so yeah. So, I'm going to start off with the cons and then slowly migrate into the pros. Um, I don't want to make this a long video. Y'all know I can ramble. So, I'm going to try and make it short and sweet. Just tell y'all this, this, this. Why this is a pro? Why this is a con? Okay. All right. So, let's get straight into the video. So, number one on my cons list is financial aid. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard. Um, kids everywhere. All HBCUs. I mean, financial aid is a mess. Literally, they're not organized. Um, they lose your documents. I mean, I've had a couple of people that I know that want to go to Southern and people lost their documents before they could even get there. They would just change their mind, went to different schools. So yes, financial aid is a really big problem. We do have an app called Qlist um, where you can get up, but a lot of times you have to get up at like 6 a.m., maybe even earlier to be ready to log into the Qlist app. That way you can get that number one spot because at the beginning of the year, literally kids were getting up at like 6.05. It was already 200 people in line. Literally. Um, because financial aid just messes you over. I know for me, I haven't had a problem with financial aid. I did have like one problem, but that wasn't financial aid's fault. It was actually the College of Business's fault. So, financial aid's fault. It was College of Business's fault. So, yeah. Um, I've never had a problem with financial aid. I know who my financial aid advisor is. I know who my counselor is. And I constantly email them before I go back to school. Hey, this looks wrong on my banner. Can you help me? Um, literally, before I went back for spring semester, I was constantly emailing her. Asking her, can she help me? And she was clearing out everything for me, you guys. Literally. That way I could get back on campus. So, um, if you have problems with financial aid or if you notice before you get on campus your financial aid not looking right please 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 contact southern i mean yes southern is very hard to contact um when you call them they be like okay hold please and then you be on hold for like 20 30 minutes i mean that's just southern in general um but if you want to get in and get your financial aid straight baby you gonna sit there and wait like i did so yeah financial aid is a mess like i said they lose documents they're very unorganized they literally just put you on hold they don't really care i mean people normally don't get their financial aid straight until maybe like three months in so yeah but they try and get it done before refunds come out because you know people be waiting on their refund baby girl um so yeah financial aid is a big 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 con i need something to get that together because <sighs> financial aid get it together stop putting people on hold answer these questions baby girl maybe we'll stop calling if you answer these questions right away but email them typically they email you back within 24 hours so email anybody, baby. Go to the website. Search everybody that works in financial aid. Search your counselor. They will direct you to the financial aid advisor that you need. I mean, come on here, people. Make some connections. That way you can get your financial aid straight. Okay? So that is my first con. My second con is limited eating. And what I mean by that is... <clears throat> Yes, we have two dining halls. We have Mayberry and we have Dunn. I personally love Dunn. That is my favorite place to go eat um, because it is right across from the dorms. So, sis don't be wanting to walk all the way to the front to go to Mayberry. Ah, but yes, um, we do have two dining halls, but we also have 
um, little other diners where you can go and use your Jag Cash to go eat. Now, here's the problem with those. You only have two big places to eat, and that's Chick-fil-A and Burger King. Um, burger King is slow as crap. I mean, it don't take long to flip a burger, baby. But they are slow. So you be in there like, girl, you better miss the whole class fooling around with Burger King. Chick-fil-A, it's not that they slow. They move pretty fast when they want to. They're not like the white people. Okay, you know, the white people, they hit you. They get you in, they get you out, and they have a smile on their face. Baby, not at Chick-fil-A at Southern University. Baby, they're going to be sitting up there. Can I take your order? Okay, and what you want to drink? I mean, it's like a McDonald's. It's like being at McDonald's, literally. Um, so it's not that they like slow all the time. It's just everybody and their mama be in the line, like literally the line be wrapped around the union to get Chick Fil A. So that's what I mean by limited eating. There are two other diners um, on the side of Chick Fil A. One is Home Zone, and there's another one. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Um, normally they have like salads and tacos, nachos, all types of stuff over there. And then home zone, normally you get like fried fish, um, macaroni and cheese, chicken and waffles. Um, but I don't, I never catch them in time because the times are so limited. And that's another thing when it comes to limited eating. Um, our Chick-fil-A, at the beginning of the year, it closes super early. But normally it closes at 9 Burger King closed at like five, and then Home Zone and the other little place over there they closed at three. So that's that's that kind of puts a damper on um, you trying to explore different places to eat at Southern. Now we do have a pod shop where you can go and get um, like some something quick when you gotta go to class. They have one in the Union, and they also have one in CTLA. They might have some somewhere else. I do believe we have one in the Law Center, but don't quote me on that. I don't know. Um, I've only been through there like one time. But I know for sure in TTLA because I stay in there. And <laughs> I know for sure in the Union because I be in there too. So, yeah. But that's something like quick. Like, they might have like some sandwiches already made, um, some Lunchables, um, chips, drinks. Um, they have like little freezy icy things but the only way you're gonna get one of them is if you go to one of tt lane because the one in the union there's gonna never work but yes when i say limited eating i mean we have limited places for you to eat and also limited time as far as mayberry and dunn um dunn doesn't open until about the middle of the semester so you just gotta stick with mayberry all year um basically so mayberry is open um I do believe at 8. They open from 8 to 10. And then they take a break. They open back up from 11 to 2. Take a break. And then they open back up from 4 to 8. Yeah, 4 to 8. They open from 4 to 8. Um, so after 8 o'clock, you screwed. I'm sorry. You're screwed. Um, the best thing I can tell you to do, have some food in your room. Or go to McDonald's I don't know <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you other than that because um, everything closes super early and that's on Monday through Friday with Mayberry and Dunn but on the weekends on Fridays um, Dunn is never open Dunn is never open on Fridays, so it's only Mayberry and Mayberry is open from 11 to 2 on Fridays they might be open at breakfast time, but I don't remember. But I know for sure 11 to 2 and then from 4 to 6. 4 to 7 on Fridays. Um, and then done and maybe a rotate weekends. So I know for sure on Saturday and Sunday they're open from 11 to 2. And then they have dinner from 4 to 6. So after 6 o'clock on the weekends, once again, you're screwed um because a lot of kids we stay up late i mean nobody really goes to sleep at no six o'clock i mean who goes to sleep at six o'clock um but it's like the people that we have arc bark or something like that we don't have like the same um food providers as like gremlin and stuff like that so we can't stay open as late when 
it comes to calves and we have limited budget money so we can't just sit up here and extend our calf hours <laughs> because who is going to pay the people to stay and if they do that then your tuition is going to go up and somebody's going to be mad i mean it's a whole lot of whole lot of so yeah limited eating is a huge con um especially like for me and my friends i know for sure we went to like mcdonald's 25 8 um or raising canes because it was just a big problem so yeah that's another con um i kind of mentioned two and three in the same thing because i said for two that was limited eating and for three was the calf which i was talking about the time so i've basically summed that up um four having a car okay having a car has its pros and its cons I do recommend that you do bring your car on campus if you are able to because just in case you want to go anywhere off of campus you will be able to do that because you have your own vehicle you don't have to depend on anybody else but here's the con when it comes to having your car for one when you get your car you have to purchase a parking sticker which is like $45 okay and purchasing your parking sticker depends on where your residency is so they have different labels that you put on your car so for where i was staying i was staying in shade so if you stayed in shade toddy or jones or you lived in the apartments you had a red tag sticker which means that you are only allowed to park in the back okay so then if you stayed in the front you had a green one so which means you stayed in gratison bethune um bradford green you lived in those you had a green sticker do not take a chance driving your car um to get to class walk okay <laughs> i know it's hot outside i know you're tired i know you don't want to walk or oops i'm late for class walk <laughs> you're already late so what it is what it is um but walk do not take a chance driving your car to class because SUPD is quick to give you a ticket. I mean quick right off the bat. I know one day we were at practice It was like 8 o'clock and um, They tried to get my roommate and my roommate was like well, I'm only here for such a amount of time She's like, okay, but you need to move your car. So Yeah, they 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 be trying to get you. There's also a commuters parking lot um, Which is back there by the stadium and there's also another parking lot uh, for commuters as well over there by Bethune, um, which are for kids that don't live on campus, so they get a special sticker as well. So yeah, um, you just have to be really careful when you try and drive your car on campus and park it anywhere. I know we would go to the Union or anything like that. Normally after five o'clock, that's when you can like drive your car up there to like the Union parking spots. Um, but as far as anywhere else, like driving to somebody else's dormitory, residency, you have to be super duper careful when it comes to that stuff. Make sure that it is after hours. Um, yeah, because if you park in any of those other parking spots between 8 and 5, they will ticket you for sure. No cap. I mean, and tickets, they pile up. And a lot of the times, you don't know that you have a ticket fine until your like fee sheet comes up at the end of the semester or it's time for you to graduate and they're like okay well we can't let you graduate because you have a fine a fine for what parking tickets like you just have to be super careful a lot of times you can't drive your car anywhere else until after five o'clock um so yeah like i said it has pros and cons to it you just have to be super duper careful so next limited space Oh, okay. I know what this means. I was like, limited space? Okay. When I say limited space, this year we had Buku freshmen. It was Buku SU 23 um, when we came in. So that put a damper on all of the residencies. Um, I don't know how much a dormitory can hold. Um, I know each floor there was six. There are six rooms per floor okay there are six rooms per floor times times eight residencies so so there are six rooms on the floor um so you multiply that times six because there are six people in a suite eight oh my gosh eight oh my gosh 
I am so glad I'm not a math major. I would be flunking. Eight. There are eight. I knew that sounded wrong. Um, but there are eight people per suite. And then you have to multiply that times three. So, that is how much the residency feels in both Shade, Tidy, and Jones. So, let me see if I can do that math. So, who? Okay, guys. So, I realized I did the math totally wrong for this. So, there are six suites on each hallway. Then there are eight residents that lives in those six suites. So you multiply eight times six, but there are three different hallways on each floor. So you multiply that times three, which gives you 144 students per floor. Multiply that by three, which gives you 432 students per dormitory. Then you multiply the 432 by three, which gives you 1296. So there are really 1296 residents that can fit in those three dormitories i did this so wrong y'all i totally forgot there were three hallways but continue on with the video okay then i don't know how many apartments there are i don't know how many um residents can stay in jones Gradison, reed but then i don't know but i know for sure that it was so many of su 23 that they had to move a lot of upperclassmen off of campus. So there's very limited spacing at Southern. I mean, and I, I, I don't know because a lot of kids, they put in their housing and they're not even going to Southern. And so it's like, you're taking someone else's opportunity to live on campus um, and you're not even coming to Southern. You're not even fully committed to Southern. So now they're having to stay on LSU side. And if they don't have a car, they have to wait on the shuttle to come and get them from LSU side. I mean, it's a complete mess. So Southern has limited spacing when it comes to housing. So if you are not fully 100% committed to Southern, I don't know what to tell you because I don't want you to be too last minute doing your, house, doing your housing. But you also don't want to take somebody else's opportunity away from them to live on campus because you're like okay well i guess i might go to southern but i might go to alcorn too you're taking away somebody else's somebody else's room so yeah southern has limited spacing that's another con and my last con is the roads so if you have ever been on southern university's campus you know trying to get back there to the back go to roads is total like, you be bobbing and weaving and bumping and grinding. I mean, you better tore up your whole car fooling with something. And don't let you have a small car. Like, my roommate, she had a bug. Bruh. <laughs> you had to be so careful. And people be driving so fast, especially coming from the back. And it's a lot of curves. So, like, you have to be careful going around the curves because you don't know if somebody else is coming. Please. The roads are mess so just be careful if you do have a car um even if you walk in a class i mean i just stepped in a couple of potholes i almost fell broke my ankle um you just gotta be careful i mean that's everywhere on southern's campus except like in front of the union i think that's the only place that has a really good um pavement for you to walk and drive on but other than that if you're driving anywhere else baby you're screwed so don't be skirt skirting your car because you're gonna be screwed okay and also another thing about the roads when you're going into the back it's a dip back there um when it rains it floods um and that floods really bad right there so be careful be careful driving through there you don't want to mess up anything in your car um because you're trying to zoom past the water okay um i think that is it for all my cons um, I am kind of thinking of something as I'm going along. I think another con for me would be game day. Um, game day is like, it's a mess because they block off a lot of roads. Um, you cannot drive. You have to walk to the football games um, unless you can just look up and get your parking spot. But that's what I've seen. You're going to get ticketed. So it's best for you to just walk anyway. Um, so, yeah, you do have to walk to the football games. I don't know. that That's a that's a mess um game day is always a mess because you try and get over there and then when it's hot you know you gotta wait in that long line and then they gotta check you for all this and all that it's a lot um so game day that's another con when it comes to game day i mean game days are fun don't get me wrong um 
the food is expensive. I will tell you that. But that's any college campus food is going to be expensive when it's game day. Um, no, you don't get a student discount, baby. You got to pay. <laughs> Period. So, yeah, just be prepared when it comes to game day. Always make sure that you have a clear bag. Because um, I know a lot of people want to take their, um, you know, you want to have your cell phone portable charger you want to have your wallet you want to have all those things with you please make sure that you invest into a clear bag um it can be like a little clear purse if you want to be real cute and fancy um or if you're just one of those people where you can just put everything in your pockets please do so um because it's a lot during game day but i mean game day is fun but that's just a con for me for game day because it happened to us um, another con in Southern is it rains a lot and Southern can't help that I mean that's just the weather in Baton Rouge you just have to be super duper careful um, going to class stuff like that because it rained like crazy another thing do not wear Crocs in the rain um, I didn't wear some Crocs in the rain and almost killed myself out there so yeah I mean that's another thing um, when you're going down south I mean the weather's gonna be it's gonna be everywhere okay so i do believe that's all of my cons for going to southern let's get into the good stuff let's get into the pros so my first pro is you learn a lot of different um backgrounds and cultures i have met a lot of people from different places i met people from atlanta from california um i don't think i met anybody from new york i met a couple people from like ohio i met people from everywhere and even other towns here in Louisiana, Shreveport, um, Mansfield, um, uh, Lafayette. I mean, I met a lot of people, especially Houston. And Houston people, let me tell you, I don't know what water y'all drinking, but I need to get on it. Because everybody from Houston is hot girl, period. I need to get on it because all of them got big booties, big hips. I mean, I need to drink some of that water. Please, if you are from Houston, let me know what water you are drinking because I need to drink it. Um, but yes, you do learn a lot of different people's backgrounds. Like I told y'all, my friend, um, my roommate, she was from Mansfield. She tried to teach me how to Zydeco. Um, when I was in different group chats, you know, different people's perspective on respect and like the way that they talk. Some things they mean to come off as a joke and it might not come off as a joke to you because that's not what you're used to i mean you just have to kind of know the different backgrounds there was a girl from lafayette the way that she talked it make you seem like she talked with an attitude but she really doesn't have an attitude that's just how she talks like you learn different backgrounds and different types of cultures um from different people even from your teachers i mean i had a teacher um that was always talking about his name because it was like the name of a phone so, you learn a lot of different backgrounds, different cultures, um, and you also learn how to communicate with people like that, because once you understand, like, they're not trying to come off rude to you, then, you know, y'all can really gain a connection, gain a friendship, whatever you want to call it. I met somebody from Missouri, if y'all don't know, Justin, the um, founder of Stuff and Shake at Southern University. The founder of Summer Shake at Southern University. Um, me and him became really good friends. And you know, just the way that he's talking, the way that he come off, like, he's somebody that you can talk to. He gained um, a lot, of, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of friends from Louisiana. And he also learned um, how to talk to people from Louisiana. You know, so, yeah. You just learn a lot of different backgrounds, different cultures. You learn how to really talk to people and how to understand their language. Um, okay, so I did put on my pros list about the calf. Y'all already know I did a con on our calf, but here's some pros. Um, they are very, 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 um, they have a different menu option for everybody. Um, they have, you know, your normal, what you eat, um, your, no like, the normal menu, um, which is, like, your home kind of like your home zone foods fried chicken you know whatever whatever they have that over there they also have um pizza they have 
foods for they have international foods they have foods for people who are vegan you know they have desserts then they have like the grill then they got stir fry i mean they're very different they have different varieties of foods for you to choose and pick from so that is one pro that i love about the calf you don't always have to eat every day everybody doesn't always have to eat the same thing you can always go here there and everywhere no matter how many times um just to go and get you something different something to eat one thing i will say and this would this is also a con and calf um maybe the ice cream machine stay broke so but yeah they do have a lot of different varieties of food options for you to choose from so that is another um that is a good pro when it comes to the calves and when i say calves i'm talking about done and mayberry my third pro is it makes you feel like you're at home honestly i was scared to go out to college i thought i was gonna get homesick very easily and i didn't i mean um the people that i just really hung out with they were kind of like family to me um I don't know it really just feels like home it feels like you back at home it's just you in a different environment and you just have fun like you just feel very home at home and even like when it comes to adults or it comes to alumni they are so sweet they're so nice to you they're always willing to help I mean they always have a smile on their face so it feels just like home to me so that's one good thing I can say about southern you're gonna feel like you're at home okay unless you just make the experience awful if you just relax and just soak in the moments, it feels like home. Four, the experience. I had a wonderful experience attending an HBCU. Um, if you have watched episodes one, two, and three, I did mention that I went to a private school and I also went to a PWI for high school. So I'd never been to an institution where it was just predominantly black children. I've never... Um, experience how many um people you can connect with like at a pwi is you all on your own okay you are all on your own even in high school even when i was in private school for elementary and middle school you're on your own um don't ask us for help because guess what i don't know what to tell you <laughs> you know so when you're at an hbcu you can always ask anybody for help i mean anybody you can ask anybody for help. Um, people are always there for you. I mean, just the experience of going to an HBCU, it just, that's why it makes you feel at home because everybody makes you feel loved and they make you feel at home and they just really, they care about you. So, yes, the experience, A1, okay? Next, I say that they're very resourceful and I told you guys this in episode one and two, Southern is very resourceful. Um, on campus you have all different types of activities oh you have all different types of activities where they introduce you to new people um if you spend time with certain people that spend time with certain people then you gain better connections i mean i spend time with people who know people from the sga office one of my friends is sophomore class president and through him i was able to meet people in the sga office i mean you just gain better connections and when you do that that helps you to gain different recommend recommendations when you are trying to do different things and you need a letter of recommendation okay you know that you have so many people that you can go to for that when you start using your resources you guys join activities i mean and that is that is number six on my pro list activities there are so many activities for you to join on Southern's campus they have different activities within your department um for your major there are activities outside of that um they have different things that you can join like c100 um when you get to that certain um level because i think it's some requirements but you can join like c100 you can do gwga um you can do sga um, and there's some other things that you can do um, for boys. You know, you can try and join MIFID, which is through SGA, of course. Um, a lot of things are through SGA, but not everything. You can join different pageants. You can join Dorm Queens. You can join um, the Miss Omega Sci-Fi pageant, the Miss Black and Gold pageant, the Miss Crimson and Cream pageant. They have a Mr. Crimson and Cream pageant. I mean, 
they have a Mr. Freshman pageant. It's so many things that you can join at Southern. There's no reason why you should not be in at least one activity after your first semester on Southern's campus. They have NAACP. I mean, it's just so many things for you to do. And also, if that's not enough, um, and I know for sure, you know, if you're into dance, you can do golden blues. You can do, um, you can try for dolls. Um, anyway, you can, if you love music, try to be in the band. Um, and for anybody that's like, okay, well, I can't dance because I'm not the right size. I don't meet the requirements. Um, or if you want to be a cheerleader, you can be a cheerleader. Or if you don't meet the requirements for that, guess what? You can go right over to Stump and Shake. He takes people, no matter the size, your shape, your skin color, male or female. If you want to do it, do it. I, I just might try out. Because, I mean, I've been around them enough to understand, like, even if you don't know how to do Stump and Shake, he will teach you stuff like that for you to join. Join something guys okay for you incoming freshmen if you are interested in stuff and shape he is having tryouts this fall for all incoming freshmen okay so if you're interested in that i'll put that social media right here that way that you guys can contact him if you need any more information but guys join something there's always something for you to join which also gets you closer to those resources that you need you guys i i just can't stress that enough um, because I feel like had I did more than, you know, just the little stuff that I did, I could have gained so many more connections, um, and just had so many more options, so many more resources. So when it comes to things like that, join, get to know these people, okay? Get to know people that are in SGA, get to know the people in your department, which you should already be trying to get to know them anyway, because guess what? You gotta live with them for four years unless you decide to change your major which i'm not changing my major so i gotta live with them for four years Whew. so 62 lane don't make no sense but yes get on everybody good side don't be one of those bad kids um because then your teachers gonna recognize you and they're not gonna want to help you they're not gonna want to get you a letter of recommendation because guess what you were being bad but that's not your part you need to be a good child <laughs> um but yes get get in something Cause that will help you gain more connections which will help you have more resources um to use but they also have more resources even as an incoming freshman um they have like first year experience they're very first year second year experience they're very resourceful um it's something else it's something else I cannot remember and we talked about it I cannot remember but it's something else um, that'll help you um, around campus if you just having a lot of trouble so yeah that basically sums up five and six but other than that I mean southern is great um, it just has a few little things that they could tweak um, which I know that they're in the process of trying to tweak them so I'm not really worried about it but yeah you guys so that is the end of episode four i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um we have four more episodes left to go <sighs> tired um so yeah you guys make sure that you like this video comment under this video and also subscribe to my channel and turn on post bell notifications so you can be notified every time i post a new video and i will see you guys next wednesday for episode five bye guys